We had a uh, Juan Juan Il versus Shane uh, Zoltitzek. Hey, look at you! Look at you, dude. Hey, not, dude, not, I'm, I'm... not just a couple months ago, not just a few months ago, you would really struggle with that. What can I say, man? You know, you boys been working on it. Like every day I come home from work and I'm just like pronouncing all these uh these different names, just for practice. Know? I look in the mirror, Zoltitzek. <laughs> Over and over again, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but dude, uh, hey, uh, if I, I could just say, fight. I am a big fan of Quan One Nil now, dude. If anybody, <laughs> look, remember, remember when, remember when, uh, when you were first starting to watch one, and you were like, I don't know any of these guys. I would send you the card. I'm like, this one's stacked. You got to watch this one. You'd be like, I don't know any of these people. And I'm like, but if you watch, like, imagine if you never heard of Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler, and then you watch that fight, you'd be like, I like both these guys, even though you never heard of them. Yeah, Juan Juan Il, talk about somebody seizing the platform and seizing the opportunity to gain fans. Oh my God, knocked it out of the park. You know I love good fighters, Will, but I also like me some showmanship. You yeah, know, and Juan Juan Il brings it, dude, in both <laughs> categories. So first off, uh, as I'm watching, and Shanae has like the high guard, and he's kind of like tilting his head a little bit lower with his high guard, and I thought to myself, like, hey. It's open, it's open, and then Quan Wan Il starts landing that uppercut, that oh, lead that uppercut, uppercut over and over again. And I was like, dude, for him to make that read that quickly just shows mm -hmm. that fight IQ right off the bat, right? Yeah. So that was super awesome, man. Uh, and then, uh, you know, his ground game too. Very good. And, and dude, he this was this was the uh, <clears throat> this was I think a coming out party for Quan Wan Il because, uh, like you said, massive adjustments. There's that uppercut. And Shine is a savage dude. This dude's like a tank type fighter, like a you know Vanderlei Silva type warpath fighter. And Quan Wan Il just diced him up. You know he just picked him apart, picked his shots very cerebral. Like you said, he picked up on the adjustments that he needed to make uh, to land different shots, and then to mix in the takedowns was perfect. And the ground and pound, he didn't take him down just to control him. You know dude, what I mean? He's down there for that, blood. Okay. So that's in my notes, actually. And I, I love the fact that when he was on the ground, he was very slow and methodical. Every yeah, single move shot. was setting up another pass. And he just yeah. – like it, it was just – every single move had a, a, a rhyme of reason, dude. It was so good. I loved it. And the vicious ground and pound when he was on top, dude. And then the post-fight interview, man. The fucking cherry on top, dude. It, so it's so like, good. He's like kind of talking shit, but then – but. It's like so endearing because he's like excited to be cursing and like, and that's how he always is. He's just like, his energy is like, is infectious, dude. The guy's infectious. Yeah. <laughs> My mom texted me. She's like, this, that's kind of adorable. Like that was kind of adorable. And it's like, <laughs> we just watched this guy murder a dude. And he's out there the way he called out Fabricio Andrade, like, or Andrade, like, you know, just, it was perfect, dude. It was so about good. uh when he's so like happy he for him fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> and he goes, "I'm rich, baby." Yeah, <laughs> like oh, dude, it's so good, man. He's like, "You want a super fight? Everybody wants a super fight. I want a super fight." Like Austin so told me, I need to go back and watch his last post fight interview too. Yeah, it's, he's great, dude. He's oh, great. your boy's gonna do some research. I'm gonna go back, watch his last couple of fights, watch his post fight interviews, man. <laughs> I, yeah, I fell in love with Quan Juan Neil, bro. Yeah, and. Uh, if anybody didn't and they're just here for uh, the violence, let's go ahead and watch that ground and pound that we're talking about, huh? All right, you're going to have to take and it away. I, I won't talk. I don't want to echo. Yeah, I won't talk. Am, am I echoing when I'm playing the audio? No, the no. You sound great to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let me know if uh, if you, as a viewer, are hearing uh, an echo when I talk over the video clips that we're playing. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this here. Those elbows, dude. I mean, just brutal, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> one of my so notes, good, too, uh, is uh, all night Herb Dean doing Herb Dean things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know Herb what I mean? Shuffle like, was on full display, huh? <laughs> it was hilarious, bro. There's another fight him. where I was just like, hey, come on, Herb Dean, let's get, let's get going, bro. Was it the Belloc one? Yeah. <laughs> It was the valid one, yeah. And it's with so that, funny. we might as well move on. Shout out Austin says, no echoes here. Mike volume's perfect, too. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip 
of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.